Well, hi, this is Valerie with This Is How You Do It. I just put um, a wax stick on my hair. I put it right here on my part to uh, lay this down because it was real bushy. And this is my third day hair instead of wetting my hair again for uh, washing it, wetting it. I put some of this here uh, edge control, not edge control, but this is this. this stick on my hair this slick stick to slick down this part of my hair and you know put some around here to lay down my ear just a little bit and my hair is mashed down from our laying on it guess I slept kind of rough last night hair still soft after three days if you've seen the previous videos, you know I prepped my hair with the uh, Hawaiian Silky Activator Gel, and then I did it with did my hair with the uh, Eco Styling Gel on top of that, and then my hair is still soft. Now I don't want to pull on it too much because I just am going to uh, put a little water on it to try to make them fall. Because when you do the curly girl method, you can spritz your hair with water first thing in that morning. And then uh, that evening, your curls will fall. So I may do that this morning. Just spritz it like this. Now, I'm not a fan of, of, of spritzing all during the day. But I will do it first thing in the morning if I don't wash my hair. And if I think I want to do it. Because I could have wore it like this all day. Just would have been closer to my head. head though. Because I smashed it down during sleep. But the thing is, it'll it'll be sometime later on this this few hours from now before those curls will actually fall down. They won't fall down right away. I could probably come back and show you that. But the thing about coming back and showing you is that this particular thing is not a, a pause and come back and play later. It's it's a do do it all now uh, or don't do it at all kind of deal so I will have to come back and show you the results it don't say shake your hair I just shook it anyway though you're supposed to like do like this just to push the moisture into the into the hair but I'm impatient let me show it to you see that Let's see, so that won't be right on me. You can see some of it falling already. That's just to get to get the hair from being stuck to my head after sleeping on it. See? Well, maybe I'm moving too fast. You can't see it. It's bouncing. But if you're not stuck on 
length and and, and uh, all you're all about making your hair look as long as possible. Like I say, laying on it masks down because of the gel and it is firm, and, and so when you lay on it, it matches your hair in. But if you are willing to just spread and let it do its thing, and then once you get through spraying, don't touch it, and then it'll kind of fall a little bit more on its own. I was thinking about putting some earrings on. I don't know why. Well, sometimes it makes us feel better when we all jeweled out on in it. What you think about that? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do to my hair today. Well, you say, Valerie, you ain't really did nothing. No, I haven't. But, um, but showed you that you can wet your hair after laying on it. Lay it down with a little wax in, in the critical parts, like up in there, because it was bushy in there. Lay that down. Lay your edges around. Down. It may be look a little shorter. Spread some water on it and go on by your business. You know. But you don't have to use that spritz ball all during the day because the chemicals that's already on your hair will con will be activated again and then it'll do the job that it needs to do. So um, I'm going to get off this thing and I'll talk to y'all another time. Mm -hmm. I was just looking at that lipstick. It's a. It looks light, but it's really a purple or lavender color. But you can't hardly tell it on the on the video. But either way, this is what I've done for the day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.